At City Hall, people like to keep secrets. As Montrealers call for more government transparency, the city has yet to release all information. Whether it be financial reports or even garbage pickup details, people are left wondering what's there to hide. In cities across North America, the movement for open data has been embraced by citizens as a way to make information free and available to the public and make government more transparent. While at Montreal City Hall, an ongoing renovation project isn't showing its transparency at all. My mission is to find out why Montreal has yet to adopt a similar policy, seeing how it's so concerned with its image. I went to City Hall looking for answers. Once inside, I was stopped by security and told I'd need to speak ah, with their public reportage. relations department. So then I called the Access Montreal 311 information hotline. This number is for people like me who want to know more about services offered by the city. Yes, hello, I'm trying to find someone to speak with about why the city of Montreal hasn't adopted an open data policy. Transferring your call. Please hold. We are transferring your call. Instead of answers, all I got was another voicemail. Hello, this is Adam Bema calling again. I'm the reporter that's looking for information on open data. Please give me a call back. After numerous requests for a response, I finally received an email from a city spokesperson stating, The city of Montreal doesn't yet have an open data project but they are currently analyzing the possibility. Project Montreal's web and data expert, Yannick Brosseau, sees the release of government-controlled data as an essential component to any political party. The other stuff that other cities have done, like the, um, the trash route or the, the trash uh, schedule, uh, this is one of the best examples we have from Vancouver, that somebody did a web application by using this data and so people can just enter their address and get what they, when the trash is passing in the street, get some email reminder and stuff like that. All the uh, transport information, all the bus route, metro, schedules, so we can build some richer application. You have information on the website, but you want them on your phone, you want maybe have some high level processing or some kind of other application, or you want to just study uh, how the uh, schedule for, for were improved or worsened over the time. So if you can get access to this data, you can process uh, the information. I've decided to find out what information is already available on the City of Montreal's website. I'm looking for documents regarding the City Hall renovation, so I enter the word construction into the database, and immediately there are 608 results. Then I try renovation, and I receive another 138 results. All these available documents are in large, hard-to-read PDF files. But one group is trying to change this. Their goal is to make information more accessible for you to use. And their name reflects this, Montreal Ouvert. And they want to do just that, make Montreal more open. At the end of the day, what open data does is it allows citizens easier access to services that the city is already offering. Um, so in many ways, it'll engage the citizenry more with their city, and they'll be more appreciative of all the hard work that the city does do. Montreal Ouvert co-founder Jonathan Brun says he's been meeting with city officials to educate them about the benefit of open data. We've met mostly with uh, different bureaucrats in different departments of the city, um, and like I said, some of them don't know anything about open data. So our role really is to educate them, to show them examples of how it works in other cities. Uh, and once they understand open data and they understand the potential benefits, they become very enthusiastic very quickly. And what are those benefits? How could this help you in your daily life? Well, Montreal Louvert wants to make our lives a little easier. In Montreal, there's uh, hockey rinks in a lot of parks. The problem is that every day during the winter, the city updates a PDF document for each arrondissement, each borough, where they list whether the hockey rink is open, whether it's in good condition, bad condition, has it been cleared. Um, has it been sprayed, all these sort of factors. Um, the PDF document is not searchable. It's hard to find your rank because they don't list the addresses of the ranks. Brun displays coordinates of hockey rinks located around the island of Montreal and explains how city data could help him create something unique. 
So what we're doing is we're taking the information in those PDF documents, putting it in a separate database, and then creating an interface that's accessible on iPhone. So when you have your iPhone, and say you want to go play a game after work or after school, you can punch in your location. It'll tell you the rinks that are in your neighborhood, which ones are open, which ones are closed, which ones are good conditions. And then we lay a social layer on top of that so that you can indicate that you're going to the rink at Parc La Fontaine. And then say 10 people indicate they've gone to that rink in the last two hours, you have a general idea of how many people are at the rink. Guillaume Lavoie is a Montrealer who's passionate about the idea of free information. As a lecturer at the National School of Public Administration, he knows how important transparency is to government. Jonathan uh, Brun, one of the co-founders of Mont Montréal Ouvert, mentioned uh, an app about um, you know hockey rinks in Montreal, and obviously Montreal being a very hockey-loving city. Do you think that would really um, take off and be accepted by a lot of people here in Montreal and be used? Yeah, Montréal Ouvert is a great organization, and, and I really wish we should all support uh, Montréal Ouvert. But that's a very good example. I'm pretty sure that in San Francisco, that's not an app that's going to be very popular. And that's a good example where you know, a free market of ideas, open data will give way to innovations that will suit a given community with its specific needs and its specific wants and its specialities. And if you're in Montreal, hockey is going to be a big part of that. And, and thank God if that makes finding an ice rink open at time easier. But hockey rinks are only the tip of the iceberg. Open data can help you, the taxpayer, find out how your money is being spent. What is my government doing? on that street corner. What is my government doing with that stimulus package exactly here now in my community? And that could be just a click away. My quest for city data ends back where I started, Montreal City Hall, where no leadership is taken on the issue and it seems a culture of secrecy prevails.